New at 10, this weekend marks the 70th anniversary of victory over Japan, known as VJ Day. World War II ended after the dropping of those two atomic bombs. And tonight, John Mino talks with a veteran who fought in the Pacific on a mission he just had to complete. Last week was the 70th anniversary of the dropping of the atomic bombs. Now, some historians have said it wasn't needed, that an Allied invasion of Japan would have been enough to end the war. Well, that is not the opinion of one former Marine who battled that tenacious foe face to face in the jungles of the Pacific. He was just a young guy, a college student one day, a battle hardened Marine a short time later, fighting the Japanese in bloody battles on Bougainville and Guam. Oh, I tell you, they, they were fighters. They were fighters, and uh, they just didn't give up. Uh, I don't think there were too many surrenders. Now approaching his 94th birthday, Mel Olson still remembers August of 1945. 70 years, how fast it went. <laughs> remembers the frustration of trying to find that elusive enemy in incredibly thick jungles. But you never knew where those buggers were. <laughs> can recall the sights while on a ship just off the shores of Iwo Jima. We saw a lot of boats taking uh, people to the uh, hospital ship. And while he never backed away from dangerous assignments... I volunteered for anything I could. I went on patrols. I uh, volunteered for outposts. He shudders at the thought of what a land invasion of Japan would have cost in human life. Oh, that would have been... Horrible. We would have lost probably a half a million uh, people. And Japan would have lost at least a million or more. So thanks to one executive decision. President Truman made a good choice in dropping that bomb and getting it over with. He got to enjoy nine kids, 62 grandchildren, and memories of a time best explained as. It's an adventure I'll never forget. Mino, NBC 26.